rise and shine. Right. Hi, Hosea. Hello. Let's see. We have John Marston. He's ready to talk to us. I don't know about that. We got a map. Hey, Arthur. What's up? What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Right, my boy, John Marston. We're doing what we're doing. We're doing work. Wrong button. No, I'm not doing it. Right again. It's a long way. I'm still not used to this, uh, this camp yet. Every time I wake up, it's like, where, where am I? Morning. Morning. Let's roll, let's roll. <laughs> what the fuck happened there? Oh no. <laughs> what the fuck happened? What the fuck? I'm dead. I'm dead. There's too many people there. Run, 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 run. Zigzag, zigzag. <laughs> what the fuck? I Give me a horse. So you don't kill it. I 
if I kill them all, I can just go back in and get that thing. Oh, oh, they're gonna kill me first. Shit, one more hit. Stop running in circles. Go, go, go. Where's he going? Oh, open a window. Open a window. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. He knows me. Nobody knows me. I'm going the wrong way, but I don't care. Oh my god, I made it here without no problems. That's fucking crazy. Wait, 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 what am I doing? No, 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 don't crash, please, please, don't crash. Hey, what the fuck, what am I doing here? Dude, you should run around that gas tank right there. That was wrong, though. Yo. Shit. Ah, well, at least it ain't 
hate your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. Well, you can scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, eh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. <clears throat> what are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. <laughs> hey. Let's go, let's go. All the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, wolf man? Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but she'd still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this blocking the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently, she picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks, and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. You're a funny fella, John Marston. And what folks say? Eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. They're left here, towards Rhodes. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Because I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gutter sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, not this oh. again. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scar-faced. A right barrel of laughs. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth, you'll get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Marston, 
Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. Yeah. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. There's no way that thing would have stopped that fucking thing. What's going on here? Push around the corner. What's going on? Nothing good. No way. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. Go on. Get on there. Hey. Bastard. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and ready sure. you get shot. Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! There you go. Let's make this quick, people! Come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full! I ain't got nothing. You wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Please. What's the problem? Money! Valuable! Don't do this! Please! Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay, okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. Like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. I am adverse to conflict, my dear. Please, please, don't help me. Don't molest me. I want to count to three. God damn it. Sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be... Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery! Let's me. make this quick! No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Right, Jack. Tough guy, huh? You sure about what? that? Quick, come on! Everything you got. Money, valuable. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend, then. Money now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cough it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Please, I'm not a bad man. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None what is it? You all right? Build a baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? Probably something in here, Arthur. Time I'll look and you provide the cover. Try me best, brother, but I'm staying double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. These folks are rich, all right. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. I don't. Tennis rackets in there. Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. All right, we should probably be going now. There's some decent stuff. Come on, we should get out of here. We're looking good in here. We'll take that.
Carter, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. What? Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you right away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Ben, there's a few more of them torn up. Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. There. Look out on the... Here come the friends. Mark coming through the trees, you see him?
<laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Now yeah, what did I get? Got to be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big tank. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah, look at the loot. Whew. Wow. That was crazy. I don't do this everywhere, man. Holy shit. Alright, what do we got to do next?